I can't even tell you guys how excited I am to do this deck profile. Y'all know that I've been wanting to profile this for you guys for forever. And yesterday, the cards came in. We built the deck. Super excited. Shout out to my boy, Pete Navarro. I couldn't do it without you, bro. You're absolutely the best. You come through for me whenever I need stuff. And it's amazing. Before I get into it to you guys, you already know gem, gem, uh, gem accessories. Originally, it was gem playmats. You already know the new uh, Dragon Blood deck box. I've shown it off in the last deck profile. We're going to show it off again real quick. Hold your deck in there. Hold your dice in here, which is awesome. It slides down, which is cool. You can hold a ton of dice or whatever you want a coin etc for your tokens hold your calculator if you have a mini one hold your extra deck your side deck whatever it is it's awesome definitely check it out links in the description but today we are here to profile pure mech knights if you guys are new here consider subscribing hit that notification bell you guys will be notified whenever i upload you also be notified whenever i stream over on twitch link is in the description we finally got gear suit this card changed everything, and I'm super excited to show you guys this deck profile. I've gotten a lot of insight from a lot of other channels, a lot of other players. You guys have seen that we have also done a lot of games on stream. You guys already know whenever I stream over on Twitch that we do a ton with this deck, and it's easily one of my favorite decks in the game right now. And if I were to go to like an actual event, this would probably be the deck I play. But we're going to get into it for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy. Uh, you guys can already see like because of Gearsu, we are able to play cards like Ding Gearsu. So it's pretty cool. But we'll get into it for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy. Again, shout out to my boy Pete. I'm just so happy to profile this deck. I I've rambled enough. I just, I, I got to show you guys. Pure Mech Knights for the June 2020 format. This is pre ban list. We don't know if the ban list will hit anything on here. I seriously don't think so. I, sw I built Pure Mech Knights because if alistair and friends do get hit but other than that i think the deck is extremely solid but let's get into it so of course you run triple gear sue uh the orcus mech knight this card is absolutely ridiculous this card literally just sends a world legacy card you could do it spawns a token can create a column it actually gives you a very solid going first play where you normally did not have that and i think this card just literally changed everything for this deck i'm a huge fan of it i think this card is absolutely insane it's also a mech knight which is great this card literally can just start off your combos by itself it replaced iperia as the normal summon if you don't have access to this card you can run iperia the deck will change a bit but for the most part uh, this is the best normal summon you'd have in the deck I just, I can't speak, say anything more. This, I speak more highly of this card. I absolutely love it. For the Mech Knights, triple purple. It's still the best Mech Knight you already know. Spins out like an old school wind-up rabbit. For those of you that played during wind-up format, you know what I mean. Uh, card just does everything. Uh, Gear Suit plus purple is just insane. Uh, along with that, the next best Mech Knight, triple blue. Blue just searches. It's insane because people do not uh, pay attention to column placement still in 2020. And you can just get pluses off this for days. You can go plus two. If you're super lucky and go plus three, if they lined up their extra monster zone, the back row and the monster behind it, and you get a plus three, I mean, the game's auto over at that point because you've just got so many monsters at your disposal but it's absolutely insane i love blue uh two copies of indigo eclipse again this is pure mech knights so we are playing a much higher mech knight count than normal gear Sue also being a mech knight adds to the mech knight count but uh indigo eclipse is insane you use it for your combo with morning star to send to the graveyard for to get secrets because the beauty of it is that if you have one in hand you have one in deck you can special one from the graveyard you can special one from deck special one whatever and then you can move them around and then negate stuff with secrets face up so this card is just great and then we also play the one red cards extremely solid it's not once per turn so being able to pop annoying monsters in the same column is great you could also move it around with indigo if you have it on the board so you get a lot of synergy there and then the yellow star i play both because i feel that it's important to also deal with back row i've talked about this this has been my go-to mech knight of choice even over red but again since this is pure mech knights we've decided to play uh, both red and yellow and then the last mech knight monster is actually abram so we don't play orange we don't play green those cards really don't do anything green was originally in the deck list before but that was before gear Su, uh came into the deck so right now abram uh is the last mech knight and the reason why abram is so important is because it's another normal summon that will let you go into link spider create a column and start playing uh it's also another mech knight to search and mech knight to summon etc etc so abram is pretty solid uh while it may seem like it does nothing it's nothing but a 2000 vanilla trust me it does come up you want to have the normal summon ability to go into link spider and start your plays so just remember that it's extremely important but that's it for all the mech knights uh like i said it's an extremely high mech knight count but this is the mech knight lineup you want to have i think this will be the standard going forward for mech knight monsters i don't think there's any reason to play orange or green maybe green if you want to but i don't think it's necessary especially if you're playing gear but 
That's it for the Mech Knights. Now, I decided to actually play both targets for Gearsu. So Gearsu will send either one of these. Normally, you're sending World Armor because you can send World Armor. And with World Armor, if you reborn it with World Legacy Succession off your Lib combo, uh, you're able to search a World Legacy key or a World Legacy spell or trap from your deck. So it's very solid. I do like also sending Chalice, though, for the times that you do draw armor or vice versa. Chalice is cool because, granted, while it does nothing the turn you send it, in the following turn, you are able to search a World Legacy legacy uh, speller trap so that's very important as well i figured that having both options is better than ha than only deciding to play one i've had a lot of hands you guys have seen on stream where i draw one or the other and it's better to have uh, both options in your deck so you can send it for gear suit so these cards are both very solid they both fill a role in the deck that i think is extremely strong 2500 beater also being able to um being able to, like I said, search a World Legacy card and same thing by banishing it during the next turn is important too. So we play both World Legacy monsters. And then uh, the last of the regular monsters is Double Gamma Seal. So this card's important because obviously we're a blind going second deck. You guys already know this when it comes to Mech Knights. You want to be able to just Gamma Seal away a problem. You can also set up the column how you want it with Gamma Seal. Then you just start summoning your Mech Knights plusing and you just win the game right there. So Gamma Seal obviously being the weakest one is extremely important. So that's why we play it. Now the Hand Traps. Now this is where it gets hard this is where it gets up to player preference i'm not gonna lie not every person is gonna agree with my hand trap lineup but based on the format and the things i've been playing online this is the ratio i decided to go with i play a ton of two ofs all two ofs no three ofs just because i don't want to be bogged down with hand traps i can only use once per turn so i decided to play uh just uh a uh, whole like spiel of as many of the best ones that I can. So I've got double Nibiru. Obviously, this is for the combo decks, the rock deck, etc. I also combo it with two copies of Phantasme. So I went back and forth of how much I like Phantasme. Obviously, it's really good now because every deck is playing Needle Fiber or Link Ross or something. So being able to drop Phantasme as a body and help you draw cards, fix your hand, and you know draw to outs to your opponent is great. Can also help you draw into more hand traps. This card's very solid. This format. We thought the card was not going to see play. Boy, was I said that boy was i wrong i think phantasme is actually low-key one of the best hand traps this format especially if you know you're playing against a deck that's going to link summon and the majority of combo decks these days have to link summon in order to play so i think the card's still very solid two is a perfect number uh two copies of ash it's still the most generic hand trap you're always going to find something to ash it's going to come up and it's going to be one of the best cards you can use and also to affect Valor, I wanted to play Valor uh, as well. I wanted more negates. I feel like you need more cards that actually tell your opponent no or try to tell your opponent no. If your opponent's playing Call by the Grave, so be it. But I felt that over cards like Crow, as much as I love DD Crow, it's a card I'd rather side deck for the match. I know it's good in. I've also thought about Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. I just haven't tested it. I actually haven't tested the new Ghost, uh, the new Ghost Mourner, but I know that card's good. Too. Card is good too. But I think Valor is just more solid. You can. Also use multiple Valors in a turn if it does come up. So that is the hand trap lineup I chose. I also have impermanence in the traps, but uh, that's the hand trap uh, ratio I chose for uh, this particular build. And like I said, this is pre-ban list, so we're just going off the format right now. But that's it for the monsters for the spells. Of course, I do run three copies of World Legacy Memory. However, I don't have my third copy on me yet, unfortunately, but I wanted to get this profile out to you guys. Just put an upstart in its place, but just know that this is actually the World Legacy Memory. I decided just for testing wise to make it an upstart, but uh, just make sure you play three copies of World Legacy Memory. This is actually the best card. This card is nuts. It does lock you into Mech Knights, but it just does everything you need it to. It summons your Mech Knight. It uh, can do any of your Mech Knights, so it's extremely strong. It would bounce back to your hand normally, but you just summon purple, banish it, get another Mech Knight, and you just keep going. Plus, it doesn't count as summoning a Mech Knight through its effect, so you can activate this special of purple, banish the purple if you have another purple in hand you could still summon that purple so it's actually insane and then you have two floating purples uh you know revolving around each other so it's pretty crazy but uh, yeah definitely play three copies of this like i said as soon as i get the third copy that'll be in there but uh three of that for sure uh, other spells, I still chose to play Galaxy Cyclone. Now, a lot of people are going to ask me why. I feel that the deck does need form, some form of back row removal. This is the best one. The reason being, I actually got this from Shannon Long, one of the most, probably the most accomplished Pure Mech Knight player. It is one of the only uh, spell and trap removal cards that you can actually set summon your mech knights and activate in the same turn obviously you can't do that with mst you can't do that with cosmic cyclone you can't do that with twin twister you can you can't even really do that with lightning storm because you would have to set the storm summon purple banish purple then activate lightning storm this card is just better being able to go one for one and then also in the grave it can clear a floodgate extremely important against decks that play mystic mine and play floodgates that might hurt this deck so this is definitely one of the better cards to play i wanted to include it because i think it's incorrect to not uh to not show respect to like back row decks and stuff that play floodgate so that's where we play it 
And then the one-ups for the World Legacy cards, I got the World Legacy Succession, that's the Monster Reborn, along with the World Legacy Key. This adds back a Banished Mech Knight. Usually you add back purple after you banish it. And a Key also negates uh, traps in the same column as a Mech Knight monster. So obviously we spam the board with Mech Knights and this helps you negate any trap that activates in the same column as a Mech Knight. So it's extremely strong against back row decks, uh, uh, you know, decks like Ultra Geist, decks like Guru, uh, really, really good against trap decks. So I really like this card. It's a lot better than I thought. Uh, other one of's I decided to play Monster Reborn so I had two Dinomiscus in this deck and I decided it was at 41 cards and I decided to bump the deck down to 40 I decided to play Monster Reborn I was kind of surprised not a lot of players were playing this card but the card makes a lot of sense even if you're locked into Mech Knights under World Legacy Memory you can still summon your Mech Knights back and just you know swing for game Monster Reborn is such a strong card it can become any card you want basically because it can become a card in your opponent's graveyard as well if you're not locked under memory so I think this card is extremely solid it's also a card that you can set create a column and then activate so i feel like this card should be played in the deck i personally don't know why i wasn't playing it before but i've been testing it out and it's been testing amazing so i'm still gonna play it for now i've got of course the one mind control rest in peace still one of my favorite spells ever but it's at one got to deal with it it's still fine you're going second deck cards broken and then the one instant fusion this card is more solid in this deck than it is in mech knight invoked mech knight invoked has more engines that can play instant fusion in this deck is very solid because it lets you if you have to go first create a column with thousand eyes restrict even if you don't take a monster it's the Fusions is very solid. Obviously, we're going second deck, so if we do have the ability to instant fusion out Thousand Eyes Restrict and take an opponent's monster, it creates a column for free and clears a problem on the board. So, card is absolutely insane. So, that's it for the spells. And then for the traps, very simple. I just play two copies of Impermanence for the other hand traps. I think the card's very solid. And then probably the second best card in the deck next to Gearsu and other cards is World Legacy Secret. This card is a skill drain on crack. It literally negates any monster effect that that activates in the same column as a mech knight monster you move your mech knights around with indigo eclipse you can always guarantee that you're going to negate your opponent's monsters you search it off morningstar and it's broken so uh that's it for the main deck it is 40 cards even i absolutely love this main deck i've been testing it all constantly on stream you guys have seen it. it's just been doing amazing so uh we'll get into the extra deck real quick Extra deck's very simple. We do play the one Dingirisu. You do have the ability to hard make this with your Mech Knight Purple and your Mech Knight Indigo. They are eights, but normally you're just laying this over uh, Galatea. It's very solid in that sense, so that's why we play it. Uh, for the one Instant Fusion target, I already mentioned it, Thousand Eyes Restrict. It creates the column, so it's very important as well. Uh, on our Link Monsters, so we do all, we do play all three Link 1s. We play Link Kribo, uh, Link Spider, and Almirage. You need to play all of these. A very important Link Spider is for your, Av your Avram Normal Summon. Link Kribo and Almirage come up with your uh, with your other summons. Uh, Link Kribo is important too because if you do if you do get any tokens or anything with uh, Gearsu, you can turn the Gearsu token into a Link Kribo, and it becomes it becomes more solid than uh, just leaving it as a token. It helps you Link climb, and if you do get any more tokens, you have the ability to play Link Ross in this deck as well. If you want, you can then turn that token back into a Link Kribo. So that's important. Then Almirage, of course. Those are all just solid. You need all these. They're all your column placers because it's just you normal summon a monster with a thousand or less attack. This is this is basically when you have to normal summon one of your tuners. It does come up. Trust me. One of your hand traps. It, it does come up. Uh, and then probably the best extra deck monster, Morningstar. I would play three, honestly. I just, I felt like I needed more. I needed a little more space, but I would definitely play, uh, you have to play at least two of this. This is the best card, one of the best extra deck cards in the deck. People don't even read this card. They don't know what it does. It searches one of your world legacy speller traps by discarding a world legacy uh spell trap monster whatever and it, you also discard your mech knights and you set up with secrets and this card just broken they can't destroy it by battle if they don't read it so cards insane i think it's easily one of the best cards in the deck along with that the new uh the new card lib world keyblade master very solid with gear so you just make it and it's just amazing and it has the ability to set a world legacy speller trap and activate it the same turn so you set succession activate succession bring back armor it's insane if you link this away it can also spin a card back to the deck so the card is fantastic fantastic uh amazing addition to the deck it does a lot for uh for the mech knight strategy and then since we are running uh orcus we do have galatea sometimes you make it sometimes you don't it's in there as an option because it can come up you can protect it and you can make gear su off you can make ding gear su off of it which is ridiculous so we still have it in there as a solid link too and then just generic stuff we have the phoenix and the unicorn these are just these have always been standard there's no reason not to play them i originally was playing Boralode, but i realized unicorn was more valuable in other builds you can play link ross so link ross could replace one of these but for now this one i'm playing because i'm not playing link ross in the deck just yet uh, for Link 3s, I've got the BLS as well. This card is easily one of my favorites. This card's insane. 
uh, Spectrum Supreme, of course, because Mech Knights, card's broken. And then the last Mech Knight is the Crusadia Avermax. You guys already know these cards are nuts. Just make it to where your opponent can't out it. And I mean, there it is. And then for very easy OTKs, you have Boral Sword Dragon. The last thing I'm going to show you guys is just... The reason why we're not main decking this, people are wondering, there is a hand loop. I'm going to make more videos in the future on that. I decided that I valued having this more in the side deck. I think it's better to side deck this combo when you're guaranteed to go first. I think it's better to do that than having it in the main deck. The card is fine. Your mech knights do get a boost, but by itself, it does not do enough in my opinion. You do have the ability to side it. You can main it if you want and then try to do the hand loop. Like I said, that'll be in future videos. It does require Link Ross. Uh, you can do it without Link Ross, but Link Ross makes it a lot easier. But uh, this is just a card I wanted to mention to you guys that the reason why it's not in the main deck is we're not focusing on the hand loop in this exact build, but it is something you definitely can do and you'll see it in future videos from me. But that's everything, you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to you know give the video a thumbs up. If you want to purchase any of these cards, consider using my TCG player link. It's down in the description below. It costs you no money in return. It, it comes back to the channel. It helps me out and I really do appreciate it. I absolutely love Pure Mech Knights. Gear suit changed everything. There's no way around it. I'm so happy that this card came out i can't believe you know how much fun i've had playing this deck it's a huge change to go from playing mech knight invoke to pure mech knights but i can tell you right now if you yourself make sure you have three of these by the way <laughs> uh make sure that um you know if you've liked mech knight invokes give pure mech knights a chance the deck is so much fun and like i said if you don't have access to gear so i know the card is new i know the card might not be out for some people you do have the ability to play this deck with a card called aperia that card you just normal summon it and let you draw a card on summon and then you could just turn it into one of your link ones like uh uh, all Mirage uh, or Link. All right, I think it's just off of All Mirage, and you can start comboing. But if you can get this card, please do. This card is so amazing in this deck, and I absolutely love it. But that's everything for today, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, if you're playing Pure Mech Knights, any suggestions you have would be amazing. Because, like I said, this is just the first build before the ban list. But we'll see what happens when the list finally does come. But that's all I got for you guys today. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.